Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com back with another video that I'm calling Whittling Down, aka Whittling Down Your Best Photos to try and help you come up with what should be in your portfolio. Now the idea is simple. I get a photographer, somebody out there, to send 50, 75 images that they think are their best images or great images, and then I help them figure out which ones should be in their portfolio. Anywhere from eight to 20, because I think eight is like minimum depending on what you're doing and 20 is probably maximum before you start to really bore people in that portfolio. That doesn't mean you can't make a secondary portfolio after that, but let's jump into this set right here where we have an automotive photographer. Now I'm no automotive photographer, but I think I have a good idea of what pops and what stands out and that is the point of doing this whittling down effort right here. Uh, so as it works always, I'm gonna give things five stars that I wanna come back to, to then decide whether they are the best of the best to go into the portfolio. Um, yeah, all right, so that one looks good to me. What are we using, a Sony a7R III. The car looks sharp, everything looks nice right there, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick that. I'm not a big fan of this. I'm sure this in the automotive world may mean something, but in, in, the, grand, in the story it may mean something. Um, but I just don't, I don't know, I don't like that context very much. Do I like this more than I like this? That's a good question. It seems like the background is slightly distracting. The super low angle may be distracting. I love the paint on it, the paint looks good, but I just think that pops much more. So that's why I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pick this one as part of it. Um, Obviously this means something, so we're gonna go ahead and, and do this and give this one because the context probably works. And like I said, I'm not an automotive photographer. I can't wait to look at this picture, by the way, that just popped up. But if you're an automotive photographer, leave some comments down below and be like, yeah, those details are important. Now, I can see how they're important. I can see that you have a static shot, some detailed shots, and some action shots. Then you could show all of those, maybe three or four images per car, and that would show you that you can do the, the, the nice cross section right there. This is really good. This is six seconds. So I don't know how the hell you get a six second exposure and keep the car like this, unless they are cutting the car in after, which is definitely a possibility, because I'm not sure how you're getting six seconds from a moving car to pan to get that, but then to get everything in the car perfect. Somebody needs to explain this to me. And is it even moving is another question. It's gotta be, because that's brick going by. Um, I like this a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a nice star right here, because it, round, it, it rounds out four images of this car that I think work really well. I don't care if they're compositing images. If it looks good and it works in this situation, by all means, I'm for it. And if it helps them get jobs, then I'm for it too. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it. Oh, and I hate Dutch angles, but whatever, this looks fine to me. I don't really want to throw up with it because it looks like it has some motion into it. That's interesting. That's interesting. What, what threw me off right away was this exit sign being super duper sharp. I like that the Goodyear is across the way. We're at F8, we're at 1.3 seconds on the exposure. Um, my, I, I really like how this car looks. It just, I'm, get rid of this exit sign. And one way you can get rid of, and this desk with these papers on it, or the waiting area, just the composition. Did we need to have this car on the right hand side? I like this, but I don't think I like it enough to put into the portfolio. Um, just for those reasons. I just think the ex, I would have focused on the car itself, though I don't mind something on the right hand side, and I don't know how much room they had, but I would get rid of this over here. I would have. Here, we're gonna, we're gonna break out the crop tool, something I don't personally use. To see if, whoa, that's, oh, it's a different aspect ratio. Good, so since we're doing that, let's change the aspect ratio and see what we come up with. Is that better? Yeah, good, I think so too. I don't even know if you're listening to me, but that's what I think. <sighs> so that looks like the other car. I'm gonna skip past it, I don't like it that much. What's with all this lens flare? 
that a flash outside? Or the, no, that's a light outside. You got some of the light coming down here. I mean, it's it's okay. I, 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 it doesn't pop to me. I like this. Out into the wild, out in the wild on the on the basketball court. Um, I think it looks good. I, I think I'd want more tight of the car itself, but I like the color. I do. I like how that works right there. So for now, I'm going to pick that. Uh, this out in the wilderness, I'm not going to. I like that better because it's the sundown looks better. This is this is gorgeous again. And I don't know why I say again, but here's the, the confusing thing. Five second exposure. Do they take pictures of the car standing still? Cause look at the, let's look at the reflection. The reflection's not moving, right? But nonetheless, it, 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 it works. I don't know what they did to it. I don't know how they go ahead and do this, whether it's a five second exposure where they sped up their panning at the end and then superimpose this image thereafter. Um, if I'm totally off base, somebody's gotta let me know, but I like how it works, I like it. So I go ahead and give that one a five star rating. Um, yeah, this asphalt here throws me off on this and I don't really like it. I don't like that as much. I rather see, I personally rather see this. Probably not with the tree, but I just, I'm just trying to showcase I don't like the asphalt underneath. So that's why I don't like that one that much. This. The Jag shows you the detail. I don't, I'm not a fan of that interior. It's, it's not a, yeah, I don't like the, I just don't like it. This is just like a snapshot of a guy driving down the street and you can see the difference between 1 60th of a second here and then what they were able to do here. This is a, I love this, but this just doesn't do it for me just cause it's, just doesn't do it for me. But I guarantee you they may have tried to have a background uh, similar and then pop this on there, but this isn't that because it's not that five second exposure. Now I'm still curious because why would it still give me the metadata? Why would it still give me the metadata F10, ISO 50? Oh, may, I mean, maybe they're popping a, a flash off of some kind and doing a rear curtain and popping it so they freeze the car. Though I'm looking for some strobe in there somewhere, but I'm not seeing it. Um, and I don't see any reflections unless they took out any flash reflection. I mean, it's possible that they did that and then left the shutter open for a while and got this motion. That's also possible. So let's go back to this. I love that. Which one do I like more? Cause I wouldn't put both of these in. I would put one of these in. Do we want to see the front of the car or is it more important to see the back of the car? So I, I like this with the spotlights on the side. This is one of the actually an easier photo to create because you just set the lights up in the car and you set your long exposure and get your uh, your aperture right and your ISO. It, it's not that hard to do these night shots, but they look really good when you get them right. I'm gonna go with the full side one, personally. Hmm. I like the colors, I like the tones of that. Do we like all three? Because it's showing multiple sides, plus a tighter shot of the back, which is coming up next. Yeah, I, I don't like the tight shot of the, ta the tire. So I think two of these would suffice. Uh, I'm not a, I mean, I like this. What are, oh, those are the lights going on, which means it's a, yeah, F11. You know, I, I don't know that I like this wheat right here or not. I like the wheat. I like it better than this. It gives a little more context. Fine, we'll show the back of it too. And we'll do that as a third one, but I don't like the detail. Now this top down shot, I mean, it's a beautiful car and popping out the drone, but I'm not a, I'm not a fan of that. I think you need to go much higher. Wow. Ford GT, just in the park. See, I like that. I mean, I wanna show the over, overall car, but we don't really have a really good shot of the car. It's interesting with the plane in the background, but the plane becomes distracting with the wing light blinking. So to just showcase the car, sure, 
It works. I kind of like that better though. It looks more fierce. Bad bull. Okay. I like that a lot better than this. Though I do like the lights, the blinky blinks right there. There's a lot of touching up going on to the car. It does pop, but I, I kind of like this scene better. What is the aperture on this one? Four or five. Huh. Because it's not all as in focus this time. Like the tires aren't as in focus. James Sani. I'll go with it anyway. That's cool. I'm gonna go in the library so it doesn't, it just seems to be slowing down. So what throws me off is the, a little bit in the background, we've got the, 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 the buildings. So I'm just curious why we don't shoot tighter, but I do like the, the rubiness. It looks good, it looks good. We're going with it. Since we already have one of those, we'll go that tighter. I like the lights going on in the background. Nice creative editing. That's cool. 20 second exposure. Oh, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get the 20 second exposure because, oh, unless the car's just sitting there and not actually moving, but, and then adding some motion into it after, that could be one way that it's actually happening. That's beautiful. I mean, it almost looks fake. I would go a little tighter here because it's sort of distracting over here, but they super touched up on the car. I mean, that's cool. And that's the back. Oh, there's the back of that one. So there's the detail. I do like that. Not so much that one. I do like that. I don't like this pole on the side. And there's the wide, I guess they weren't in order. So yeah, I'm not a, that's just a snapshot in somebody's parking uh, in, in their driveway. But we're gonna go details with this. So you're showing the details of that, the hood, and then driving. And other than that, I don't like the, I mean, this is cool to see how low the thing gets, but other than that, this thing is super distracting over here. Let's see what we got. So we whittled down from, 50 and picking 30 isn't actually a bad thing. So let's go down from there. Let's see what's gonna get red. I like that. I love that. And I think one other is important. So we're gonna go with that. We, I, could, I could take or leave it. So we're gonna come back to that one. Um, I wish this was a little tighter on the car, but in the story with the other ones at the end, we're definitely gonna show it works. That's nice. Detail of the Jag, love this night shot. Love that, the back of it. We'll give it the three. So the problem is being that we only have one of these and we don't have at least two others of the other of the car, I don't think it works because then you're like, well, I wanna see the whole car. So I think if you're gonna do something like this, you've got uh, an action shot, you've got the sitting shot, you've got a detailed shot. Three or four max of a car. And try not to redo the same image, but three or four I think would tell a good story. And in this case, since we don't have it, I'm not gonna show it. What, what's more impressive here? I'm gonna go with that and this, and I'm gonna go back and see the other one. That still doesn't work for me. Doesn't work for me. Personal preference. We got that. <sighs> I like that detail. I like that one. We had the action one too, right? Yeah, and the action one, which means I'm actually gonna leave this one out because it's just too much background distraction. That's fine. I like the way they did that with the color. The car's running. Love it. That's cool. 
the back of that car. And then we're telling the story with this one too. Actually, I don't want this. I don't even like this one. And that's much better. So now we've taken it down from 50 to 30 and we have 24, 24 shots. Let's go through one more time and see what we could get rid of. We may be able to get rid of this one because I think that just sells it much better. I mean, I like this, but we're building the portfolio, so let's get rid of it. Which means I'm probably gonna get rid of one of these. Let's get rid of that one. So I only have two of these. I, I kinda like how that looks. I wish the tires were sharper in this, but I like the scene. Actually, we're getting rid of it because of that. I'll leave this one because it looks good by itself. This isn't the exact order. Keep that in mind. It's great. Great. Back of that car. One, two, three. So we're down to 21. We're going to leave it at the 21 images. I mean, I would always, <laughs> I could also come back here and get rid of that. You know what? Because I still don't like that. There, I made it 20. I made it 20. That was hard. That was hard because it wasn't like it was concerts or weddings. It's an inanimate object. It's a car. I'm not too familiar with those, but that's what jumped out to me. And I'm not a car person, like I said, but this is what jumps out. Uh, and hopefully this helped. Whittling down to see what the best story is. I'm a big fan of if you're going to show three of something, make sure they're each different. The, the tight, the wide, the detail but tell that story. And on the site, I would like what this person did. If they put this on their, their website, they'd be like, yeah, they do a really good job. I'd like to hire them to shoot a car. Not that I have a car that's worthy of the shooting, but I think this looks good. So the way that you can submit images is just pay attention to my Facebook page. I will request uh, who, who would like to send in images, and then I will contact you personally via a message via Facebook to give you instructions based off of what I asked for how you can upload the images to be a part of this series. This was one of the more difficult ones in my opinion because of the car part of it, but I do like the photos that this person came up with. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. If you have a comment like, hey, you don't know what you're talking about, that, that's great, but be sure, be sure to educate me. Say, you, you're not familiar with this, but here's what we look for in this situation. That's how you leave a proper comment. So be sure to do that. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and that's it. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.